What's going on guys? Just uh, out here at the high country again. Uh, just here for a weekender and I am towing the trailer for the first time at the high country. So I've just pulled off I'm about to start the Mount Terrible track and then tonight we're camping uh, down by the lake which will be really 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 nice. Um, letting the tyres down to about 20 psi at the moment. I've never towed the trailer here and it's quite steep so I'm going to let the tyres do the work um, and also letting down the tyres on the trailer which will probably uh, aid me through this. This is the first time I've probably towed my trailer in any uh, terrain like this. So what I'm doing is on the downhills, um, I have turned the brake control up if I need to touch the brakes. However, I'm trying to avoid doing that by just keeping it in gear and letting the engine do the braking. For uphills, I'm putting the diff lock on, putting it in sort of second to third gear and just taking the momentum and carrying that through the hills. And there's those little rises, unfortunately you do need to slow down. But I'm trying to keep my momentum up as quickly, as best as possible. When you're heading along the Mount Terrible track, there's two types of tracks you can take. There's a more complex line, which goes off to the left-hand side in a lot of times. And then there's the right-hand line, which is a bit more trailer friendly. So for today, just because of the trailer, I'm gonna be taking the right-hand line. It just places a lot less stress on the vehicle, but if you're after a more adventurous time, definitely the left-hand line.
driving Donald track at the moment, which uh, comes off Mount Terrible track. And on the way down, it's incredibly steep and there's little raises and the, the sand's quite soft on it. So what you've really got to be careful is to not hit the brakes just before the little raises. Otherwise, unfortunately, it does pivot around the rear axle. Uh, as well as that too, you get really close to hitting your drawbar every time if you're towing a trailer. So it, it is doable, but you do want a bit of clearance in the rear just to make sure you're not smacking your uh, coupling on the ground. So just turned off uh, the main road onto Lake Eldon National Park and we're heading up the Rocky Spur track heading towards a campsite tonight which is going to be along the lake. It's going to be pretty spectacular I think. So as you saw, we just came down from that lookout at the top, but turns out tracks don't link up and there's a gate stopping you from going over this one. So we got here and we can't turn around the tra with the trail on the back, so we've had to dis detach that and then hook it back up again. But whilst we were doing that, we also realized that the handle on the jockey wheel snapped off on one of the bumps. And so now I'm just using pliers to let it down. <laughs> Fortunately, gonna have to be, uh, buying a new jockey wheel at the end of all this. I'm going the wrong way too. So the next issue we've got is we're on a really steep hill and there's no trees. So we're gonna go back up the way we came. So I put the locker in and I'm gonna give it a bit and see how we go. Fingers crossed.
were meant for a friend of the channels that have broken down. Now you bring it up, I'm gonna ring it up just to hear you sing it out. Step from the road to the sea to the sky, and I do believe what we rely on. When I lay it on, come get your play it on. All my life is sacrifice. Hey, oh, listen what I say. So we finished up the day, not exactly where we anticipated. Uh, we're meant to be down the bottom of that hill at a campsite right on the water but uh, we got along this track and I looked up the camp on wiki cams and it's <laughs> I thought it said you can tow a boat here turns out they said you can park a boat down there because there's access from the other side so we towed the camper trailer and it was it was pretty rough going getting up here um, and look it just drops off on the other side and got to come back up again and I'm already anticipating that we'll be winching tomorrow because it's just it's just steep and shaly. So I thought we'd call it at the top of the hill, but I'll tell you what, it's still a good campsite. Um, so the sun's just gone down, I'm cooking up uh, some pesto pasta for dinner, and we've got a good fire going now as well. So I just parked up here. I'm gonna walk down tomorrow morning, down along the uh, the track. So it's about 500 meters more and then go check it out, but got the camper trail set up, ready for a night up the top of the hill. Still a really nice spot. Um, it's not an official camping spot, but just off to the side of the track. Couldn't do anything and it's starting to get dark, so I'm not gonna risk it. Alright, so the plan this morning, um, we're going to walk down and check out the lake down the bottom there. But before we do that, we've got the camp trail here and we're going to have to spin it around to go back the other way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse back onto the road and then winch it around and then rehook up before we go for our walk. And then from there, I'm just going to slowly move the chocks behind you, um, just so that if it does move a little bit too much, I can always um, stop it from going down the hill. I'm just going to witch it nice and slow, see how we go with that. So the reason why we stopped yesterday a bit short was because there's some pretty steep hills and there is trees around here so we can always winch but it's a lot of effort to get out and it's a lot of strain on the car so this is the first big one this is the one i was probably the most concerned about getting out of here but i guess we'll see how this turns out it probably looks spectacular but might not uh, feel too spectacular Straight away. The 
this hole. It's alright, we're going well, we're going well. Still going, still going. Here's the tough part. That's a relief. I've just got past the worst part of Rhonda track and I utilized wiki camps to find that campsite last night and it would have told me if I had read it correctly that it's not camper trailer friendly um, and it also if you read through the comments it also would have said that um, the last part of the track was quite hard for driving so you know wiki camps is a really good way to find pretty accurate reviews um, on your campsites to anyone who wants to try Rhonda track and make it all the way out to the lake I would highly recommend not taking a camper trailer. If you do, something under a thousand kilos would be uh, more up your alley, but um, this thing comes in at about 1500 and that was about the limitation of what I was prepared to put it through today. Just to hear you sing it out Step from the road to the sea to the 